It's no wonder that so many people are starting to take a closer look at cannabis. It really is an amazing plant. Cannabis contains more than 500 compounds that can be found nowhere else in nature. Many of these substances are believed to have astonishing curative properties, easing pain, nausea, inflammation, and even reducing tumors in cancer patients. In fact, cannabis has been used by many cultures around the world for a very long time. Archaeologists in Taiwan unearthed ancient pottery with traces of cannabis more than 10,000 years old. And the first documented use of cannabis as herbal medicine was in the year 2727 BC by Chinese Emperor Shen Neng. It wasn't until 1545 that cannabis, in the form of hemp, finally arrived in the New World with the Spanish conquistadors. For centuries, hemp was used to make rope, clothing, and other everyday items. In fact, the early drafts of the Declaration of Independence were written on hemp paper. Up until the 1930s, cannabis oil was commonly used in the U.S. to treat many different ailments. Shortly after that, however, federal regulations were enacted that prohibited the use, sale, and distribution of marijuana due to its psychoactive properties. Fast forward to 1996. That's the year voters in California passed an initiative to legalize medical marijuana. Cannabis was making a comeback. Since then, many others have followed suit. Now, more than half of the states in the U.S. have legalized cannabis for medical use. All of this new demand for cannabis is creating a booming industry and driving the need for proper testing and analysis. Cannabis QC testing falls into three major categories. Potency testing, terpene profiling, and contaminant screening. Analytical testing is critical to ensure that patients receive safe and effective products. Potency testing measures the levels of certain compounds in the end product, including cannabinoids like tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, and cannabidiol, CBD. Terpenes and cannabinoids are chemical compounds produced in the trichomes of cannabis flowers. They are believed to deliver most of the curative effects of cannabis. THC is the only psychoactive component in cannabis, making it a primary focus for potency testing. Customers choose medicinal products based on specific terpene and cannabinoid content. Other products are specially blended to match the needs of patients. Either way, proper and careful testing is the only way to provide accurate labeling and ensure that patients get the right curative effects for their ailments. In addition to potency profiles, cannabis testing is also used to identify a variety of contaminants, including heavy metals, residual solvents, and pesticides. Microorganisms, mycotoxins, and aflatoxins are a particular concern because the ideal growing conditions for cannabis are also ideal for the growth of harmful bacteria and fungi. But all contaminants can be very dangerous for patients with compromised immune systems. That's why QC labs, growers, processors, and dispensers of medical marijuana products are looking to improve their testing and analysis procedures. And that's why Shimatsu developed the Cannabis Analyzer for Potency. It's the first testing instrument designed specifically for the needs of cannabis labs. And the first to follow the rigorous USP guidelines for HPLC method development. With low initial investment and operation costs, it's the perfect solution for potency analysis. Plus, it's easy to use. The Cannabis Analyzer for Potency comes complete with turnkey methods and the column, reagents, and consumables needed to get up and running fast. QC Labs can take advantage of the ultra-fast mode for increased throughput on routine cannabinoid screening. A high-resolution mode is also available for higher-resolution cannabinoid interrogations and research. To learn more about the Shimadzu Cannabis Analyzer for Potency and other Shimadzu Cannabis Testing Solutions, visit www.growyourlab.com.